Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 5 from exercise 12.1, chapter 12, some applications of trigonometry. In my previous videos, I have completed the introduction, examples 1 to 7 and questions 1 to 4 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. And also do watch the video till the end so that, so that I can make more such videos for you guys. Question number 5 from exercise 12.1, chapter 12, some applications of trigonometry says a kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground. The string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground. The inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree. Find the length of the string assuming that there is no slack in the string. Now let us read the question again and draw the figure accordingly. So we have a kite which is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground. So here there is a kite which is flying 60 meter above the ground. So height is given if this is the ground level. So this is 60 meter. The string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground. The string of this kite is attached to a point on the ground. So let us attach the string of this kite to the point on the ground. So this is the point on the ground. Let us name this height of the kite as QR. Then the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree. So this string is inclined at an angle of 60 degree with the ground. Okay, so since they have given us with the ground, so this angle is with respect to the ground. Find the length of the string assuming that there is no slack in the string. So we have to find out the length of this string assuming there is no slack. What is the meaning of slack? So whenever a kite is flying, a person is holding it standing on the ground. There is always a curve you would have seen in the string. So this is called as the slack. So they are saying that there is no slack in the string. So it is attached straight in this manner with an angle of 60 degree with respect to the ground. Right. So here again you can observe that since the height is vertical to the ground. So this QRP makes a 90 degree with the, uh, with the ground level. Right. Therefore the triangle QRP or PQR is a right angle triangle. Therefore, you can write down let QP be the length of the string since height of the kite is perpendicular to ground. So, therefore, angle QRP is a 90 degree angle and hence triangle QRP is a right angle triangle. Okay. Now since it is a right angle triangle and the acute angle is at angle P, so the side opposite this acute angle is perpendicular side along a space and this QP will be our hypotenuse. So we have to find out the value of hypotenuse given our perpendicular value. Here again we will apply the trigonometric ratio. So which trigonometric ratio we are going to apply? So let us see here by writing down its fraction that is PBP divided by HHB. So here we want the ratio of perpendicular and hypotenuse since we know the perpendicular and we have to find out the hypotenuse value. So P by H is given by sine trigonometric ratio. So let us apply the sine trigonometric ratio to this triangle and find out the hypotenuse value. Right. So sine theta is given by perpendicular by hypotenuse where perpendicular value is 60 meter and hypotenuse we have to find out and a theta value is how much 60 degree so sine 60 is equal to 60 by hypotenuse side is qp right so what is the value of sine 60 from a trigonometric table sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 so let us substitute here root 3 by 2 is equal to 60 by QP. So cross multiplying we get QP into root 3 is equal to 16 to 2 is 120. 
और क्यू पी इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाई रूट थ्री सो अगेन वी ऑप्टेन अ रूट नंबर इन द डिनोमिनेटर विच वी हैव टू रिमूव बाई रैशनलाइजिंग सो लेट इज रैशनलाइज बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग एंड एंड डिवाइडिंग विद द डिनोमिनेटर सो रूट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई रूट थ्री वन ट्वेंटी इंटू रूट थ्री विल बी वन ट्वेंटी रूट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय रूट थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री इज थ्री अगेन सो थ्री वन टाइम्स थ्री सिक्स आर ट्वेल्व जीरो सो दे फोर the length of the string will be 60 root 3 okay so therefore you can write down the length of the string is 60 root 3 meter here the height of the kite is given in terms of meter so therefore we will write the length of the string also in terms of meter So this is how we solve this question. If you have any further doubts, you can comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number six from exercise twelve point one, chapter twelve, some applications of trigonometry. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos. As I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class tenth SLC in SAT Math, and also do watch the related videos of chapter twelve, some applications of trigonometry shown on the screen. Thank you.